last year's. No, I didn't. I'll send you last year's and this year's if you like it. Well, let's see how I look this year or well, last year. wonderful. <laughs> well, year after year, it's so I you. I miss you. I miss you. Too, huh? You're living in New York. Huh? Yeah. I was in New York about four weeks ago. I went to see some shows. I didn't have... You call me. I'm in the book. Are you in the book? Yeah, me sure. too. Yeah. Listen, next time I'm in New York, we have a day. Call me. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, when Johnny goes marching on. Yeah, this is Stacy Keach. This, uh, is, this is Alan Jones. I used to watch Stacey. him, and they're very good friends. Yeah, are they really? Oh, yes. That's they're wonderful. Stacy and Stacy told about our two sons, Jack and Stacy Jr. They're very good friends. Stacy was a uh, dialogue director in a few of my pictures at University. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Just marvelous. I've been playing Dr. Engel now, of course. Well, even and so, uh, you, either way, you got to be good. <laughs> Thanks it's very a much, great It's good to see you. Seeing you. Thanks. Uh, did you do, do you want to change? Generation. All right. Uh, you, you got one last year. You, you liked it? Good, good. All right. All right. Well, I'll, I'll get your address. What? You want to put it on there? Yep, well. No, all right, I'll get it. Hi, it's so nice to see you, Alan. Good to see you. I'm Frank Cogman. I know Frank, and I got you. I sent you a tape last year. You sure did, and I really and enjoyed I'll it. And you won this year, if you like. Oh, well, it. thank you very much. All right, I'll get your address, Frank. And All right. I'd it. be very pleased to have another one. Miles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miles, how are you, Miles oh, Kruger? Hi, Alan. It's so Hi. nice to see you. Good to see you. I've got the new uh, disc. Showboat, you're oh, marvelous on it. Yeah, it's I great. Used, I yeah. A little quote I, I used to yeah, use yeah. Together. It's very good. Yeah. What, Niall what, said what the narration on the new disc well, about laser disc of Showboat. I, I do, uh, I edit this one and, and send it to people who like it. Oh, and uh, I also incorporate some of the pictures that are in, and I, which I have, and I put little, little bits of the picture in the in the edit, and they enjoy it very much. So, oh, I'm so look pleased. at this year. I've gotten such wonder this, yeah, and I, I was so honored to be able to do it. And you know, I, I actually destroyed my videotape recorder, because you may not realize how you do these things, but when I prepare the second soundtrack, I have to take my tape recorder with a tape of the movie of Showboat, and if a scene runs, let's say, two minutes and, and three and a I half seconds, not. I have to talk for no more and no less than two minutes yeah, and three and a half seconds. So I'm constantly going back and forth and racing to the typewriter, then going back and timing it, and my poor tape recorder died. It just expired. Shame. Well, Irene uh, Dunn had one. I gave her three copies. They destroyed two of them. And she'd call me up and say, somebody, somebody taped over my showboat, send me another one. Because oh. she didn't, she never saw, only once did she see it, years ago. But she never saw the laser disc. No, no. No, but I had a wonderful print of it. Oh, and so yes. she she had that. I have your print of it. And you really? sold me your print of it. Oh yes, that's right. And she said to me, you know how circumspect she was, and no scandal attached to her. And when we got through, she was crying, and she looked at me, and she said, you know, Alan, our love scenes are pretty hot, weren't they? <laughs> Coming from her, I died laughing at it. <laughs> I just. Somehow, of all of the, the the joys of Showboat, I never think of your love scenes as hot with Irene Dunn. I must no, say. no. <laughs> I think of them touching, elegant, beautiful, yeah. but I never think of them as hot. No, no. <laughs> That's very funny. Not, not according to what we have today. No. <laughs> Mouth no. open. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. How have you been? Fine. It's good to I've see been you. I've been around here trying to find you. Yeah. Well, I'm running around getting you found, tapes. You found me. I, uh, I edit this when I get home, and then oh. I send it to people who would like to have it for uh, oh. just the cost of the tape and the postage. Well, how nice. So you I'll get my... your address and see and send you one if you'd like to. Be here already. Wonderful. Good yeah. to see you. Nice to see you, Thank too. You. A fan, fan letter. Oh, that was oh, one. Oh, fan letter. You were terrific. Well, honestly. It was on the other day, last week. It was on in New York. Good. That episode. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Groh and Vivian Austin. Really see you here the day. We go all the way up from several Palm pictures. Springs. And Dr. Groh is a famous oh, eye surgeon yeah. in yeah, Palm Springs. Well, I was hoping, I knew you'd be here, so it's wonderful to see you. Oh, yeah, I'll have you on uh, tape. And did you? Did I send you a tape last year? Yes, you Yeah, did. well, I'll have one this year if you'd like to have it. Yes, I would. I'll send you one. Good. 
I'll get your address again from Michael. He has a list of all your addresses, and I'll send you one. This is it's great here. This is beautiful, this hotel. Well, you know, I used to go to Hollywood High School, and I walked by here every day, and I was always looking for movie stars. There's my school, my grade school. No, high school. There's the one in Seattle. That's wonderful, wonderful. You don't know uh, through the years how I've grown to love uh, you. Thank you. The way you treated me in that picture. The way you Susanna treated me. Foster. Oh, oh no. no. You made locking me. me. Locking me in my dressing room. No. Throwing a, a smoke bomb. She was very that mischievous was, when oh. she did two pictures of me. The first picture you made me cry yeah, and I, do all those things. And then scenes. I spank you. Remember you put a board in your pants? Yes. Because I was going to do a spanking scene and I oh. lifted. Listen to your skirt and took the board out and spanked you good right on camera. <laughs> we even had a write-up in a magazine about that. We know? should have had some more films together. I wish we had. Oh, it's I wonderful really, to see. Really... Here's a young man that, that was in England when we were there, and he was a member of the fan club, and he used to play with my son, Jack. Jack, on, on the beach at Brighton, yeah. in Sussex. Yeah. And I used to see you at the Palladium every time you came over. And visit with you. I was there at Christmas time. My wife and I went over for Easter. I mean, Easter time, not Easter Christmas. Easter time. Many times. Many times. Just last Easter, we were there. Oh, you were there, and you yeah. met uh, uh, Brenda Thomas at the London Palladium. Oh, Palladia. yeah, Brenda, Brenda had dinner out at her house, and and she had pick, uh, tickets for all the shows for me, as she always does. Well, after I saw Alan Jones, then Brenda Thomas gave me my first job, and now I'm a well-known published author. Really? That's wonderful. It's good to so see you. It's Jack, nice to see you. Jack will be interested in knowing about And do tell Jack, I'd love to. I've never seen him since. I will. I believe you saw my friend Gavin Kern up at Ruth Webb's house. You went to see Was Ruth. He? Gavin Kern is now running the agency. Yeah, I'm going up there to sign a contract with him. Great. Well, tell them. In Phoenix. I'm sorry, and you I had to go out of time. town. I just talked to you, and then I tried to get in touch with you later. Aquanetto. I know, darn it. You're up at the Royal you look Farm. Wonderful. I feel super good. Played you in a picture wonderful. with Eddie Devine and myself for Song of the but Island. And oh, she <laughs> also <laughs> lives in Phoenix, where I played oh. as well. Fitzgerald, she's January. Yet. I haven't seen him yet, but and I was up in Phoenix. Oh, good. Well, he wants to sh wants to show it to you on. Uh, on a screen, it looks I'm so much so better. I'm so sorry, Mr. I wanted you to come over so I could cook you a, one of my very favorite dishes. Next oh, time I'd you love come. To. I'm, I probably will go back. I won't create be back dishes, again. you know. I used to have a restaurant. Oh, great. And I you do an awkward at a slum gully. It's you look nice. wonderful. Thank you. I feel Thanks, good. Thanks, dear. You too. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm going to do, do a number that Sybil wrote. That's sort of yeah. why I'm here, to oh, sing really? a song that Sybil wrote that I did well, last year on the show. I lost it. I couldn't find it in the house to learn it, so I'll have to read it. <laughs> You'll do the donkey so, serenade. Who's going to play it? <laughs> a Jack Nye at the piano. You're going to play at the piano? Yeah. He's wonderful. Good. Awfully good. Does yeah. he play the donkey serenade? Does he play the donkey yes, serenade? Yes, he was rehearsing it yesterday. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hello, Alan. How are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Isn't this a wonderful gathering tonight? You know what? This is a great place for it. Fantastic. Much better than last year. Well, actually, it's a thrill for me to meet you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, we have been on the DS of the Jen McDonald uh, banquet yes, several times. Yes. Sybil Jason was a big star at Warner Brothers. <laughs> As well, a child star, I hope I can read it. <coughs> we're going to do you some numbers anything. she's written. Good. written quite a few <laughs> beautiful you. numbers, which you'll hear. It's good to see you, Anthony. Thank you. Anthony Drake here. I never miss one of these. Good. Says Sybil Jason's time husband. I uh, attended two years ago, it was at a private estate, and I met Martha O'Driscoll, who I had danced with aboard an aircraft carrier at Okinawa in really? 1945. Really? Yeah, I knew Martha very well uh -huh. over at Universal. She's yeah, a right, wonderful exactly. gal, yeah. And she was there, and we took a picture together and, and, and reminisced, and she remembered the event. That's great. Will you put your name on there? Hi, I'm Neely Sinai. I'm very happy to be here. Good. Thank you, dear. Thrilled. Beautiful girl. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Alan. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. That's fat. I, uh, you weren't here last year. I, I made a I, I, I videotape and sent it to people around. So oh, I'll send nice. you one of these. That's great. I just got a present from Donnie Babb. So did I. I think it's your old shorts from Johnny Comes Marching <laughs> Home. <laughs> Autograph. Yours probably, too. <laughs> Good. Where's Gloria? Gloria's over there with Susanna Foster. Did you get to see her? Oh, I did. Yeah, I there saw Susanna. Is. I didn't see Gloria. 
Yeah, she's around here someplace. I'm glad we could make it. Where's Gloria? She's right. I don't know. She's ran away. She's not there now. No, I don't see her. I'll catch her. I'll catch her. Right, it's good to see it's you. It's good to see you. You were out on the road with uh, Mickey Rooney when last time yes. I was here. That's right. That's why I'm thinner now. <laughs> <laughs> She'd wear anyone out. Right. He's fantastic. Okay, uh, good to see you. God bless you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Some posters on the wall. There was one Moonlight Nirvana that I did with Jane Verzee. And uh, very fast this motion there. Lady, oh, the both of them. Wonderful. Here is my hostess, Gabrielle Red, and her daughter, Robin Red. His husband passed away. He was a great friend of mine, a writer. You know, I miss I do Fair play. Can I take a picture with you? Sure. I don't have sure. a picture with you. What do I do? Yeah, but Stand over you there. Shoot. Stand over there. One second. I just want right. to get. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Well, I still have the tape we made together. Good. And it's uh, it's a pleasure to see you. Can I have you made any more? This is uh, Malden, no, because that one was Leonard so Malden from uh, Entertainment Disc, Tonight. Uh, which I did commentary for a night at the opera. Yeah. And it was an exciting thing to do. And it was interesting and challenging, but it was like writing a, a, a volume this thick because you got to talk for 90 minutes straight yeah. and on one subject. And there's a lot to say about that I movie. Had, I just had but boy. Miles Kruger on. He uh -huh. did the uh, showboat. Yep. And I have that. Well, Miles can talk for an hour and a half. Sir. Yeah, he certainly can. <laughs> Good to see you. Same here. Pleasure Your to wife see you. Here? No, she couldn't make it this no, year to her bad. great regret. Give her my but, uh, Thank you. We hope to see you Good. next year then. Yeah. Good. No, I attended two others. Oh, you didn't? Last uh, last year I was here. The year Marie before, Windsor, who was uh, made yeah, the year before uh, a zillion I, pictures, I a wonderful actress. Two hours wonderful. Late. And a <laughs> dear friend that goes way back. I, uh, you've heard that... that uh, and we have mutual friends. The, uh, the parishes. Uh, parish. What's name? Joan and Joan Dick. And Dick. Joan and Dick Parish, you dummy. The parish is now. Yeah, the parish is Yeah, I saw it there. I was doing a play there uh, a year and a half ago. You were ago, at the Coconut uh, About the time they were buying their, as they call it, their townhouse. Yeah, their condominium they have down there. That's yeah. wonderful. I will be down there in November. I'm playing the Central Village. It's my 17th year. Oh, yeah. And I'll be at uh, West Palm Beach at the Century Village, and uh, they'll come over. I'm going to invite them over to see you. Great. I'm, they just love you so much. How's the old man? Just fine. Good. He's sitting home watching all the tennis matches today. Oh, He'll be man. sorry to have missed you. Say hello for me, will you? I sure Wonderful will. Wonderful to see you. Great to see you. Uh, this is entertainment tonight at interviewing me, but they never use it. Uh, it's a waste of time. I think they've used me once. To be here. Yeah, yes, when Jerome Kern had his 100th birthday. Here for uh, George Murphy's 88th birthday, and saw a lot of them there. And also uh, Bob Cummings' birthday, and saw a lot of them there. So it's a great reunion. And thank the Lord we have name tags. I could recognize all the people. Now, what makes the Jive and Jackson Jill so special? Well, they, the light all right? Michael Fitzgerald has worked hard to have started these, uh, this reunion and has done a wonderful oh, yeah. job over the years. Don't you? Well, yeah, but I seen this is the uh, greatest achievement uh, having it here at the, uh, the Roosevelt Hotel. Said. No, uh, well, she just got here. Oh, the yeah. party was already started. Course, when is she going to see it? I don't know. I guess after the party's over, unless right. you just give her the tape of it. You have a, a, a list of all the people that I can get again if they want this oh, tape. Oh, certainly. Uh -huh. well, Good. Serenade, I loved it. You're better looking than your son, oh, and he's the handsomest thing tell, walking. Don't tell him. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> I thank hey, you, you made for my talking day. to me. Thank you, dear. Mm, nice it's to another see. kiss. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.
That is wonderful, Jane. Withers, always bubbling over with enthusiasm. She's fantastic. Oh. From Ooh. one of your films with Judy Garland. Oh, everybody well, sings. Everybody oh, sings. Yeah. I, oh, I, I listen. What I did to get that that still, you wouldn't know. <laughs> yes, but I treasure it so much. I have a poster of it. I can't oh, find another one. It's, a, it's some friends of mine got it. I don't know where they found it. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Isn't it exciting when, yeah, when sweet yes. people find something and send it to you? I get Absolutely. so excited and thrilled. I love it. Well, good oh, to see you. Thank you, darling. It's good thank to see you, you again. Thank you. Oh, come on. You're very photogenic. Oh, real? oh, you think so? Yes, why not? <laughs> why not? See you John Porter and his lovely wife. Your cover. residuals must be terrific. Well, they are marvelous. Huh? Once in a while, they trap me and make me work, and then it ruins my golf. <laughs> but otherwise, they're fine. Peggy wants to work. Well, I work once in a while, you know. Oh, yes. Once in a while, they ask me, and I say, fine, great. Yeah, how much? <laughs> well, I'm... I'm Tommy? I, do they said no, no, singer. <laughs> I do the century, kidding, century Villages uh, down in Florida. I do my 17th year now in That's November. Yeah. That's great. Uh, do a tour of England about every year. Congratulations. Uh, at 83, I'm still trying. That's just great. <laughs> you know, you know a, a remembrance I have of the Hollywood Bowl. When I did, Rosemary. When I did Rosemary, yes. You coming down the mountain. That was my horse, own horse, too. Smokey, yeah. On a horse singing, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was quite a production. That's yeah. the first production that was ever done in the bowl. I know. Really? And we had. Uh, it was uh, a great production. We had Nancy McCord played Rosemary. We had uh, Eddie Foy Jr. playing the. Hardboiled Herman. We had uh, Wilbur Evans playing the Mounty. Yeah. In the uh, in the stage version, of course, the Mounty was second lead. And uh, then we had John Raitt playing the brother, which was a very small no part. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a quite a thing. There. I don't remember that. I remember yeah. you and and Monty. Yeah. <laughs> Three nights. <laughs> That, good, was, that was a great it's evening. Good to see you. Well, well, congratulations to you for keep, you. keeping on. Here's Gloria Lavoy doing a strip tease that Sybil wrote in her show, her musical. And uh, my cameraman was uh, hungry and went to the refreshment table and didn't get her whole strip tease. I'm sorry. It was beautifully done.
sight read this because I lost the copies of some I had a chance to learn it. Sung this a long time. You are the end of the road that lights a star. The dearest things I know are what you are. Someday my lonely arms will hold you, and someday.
Freddie Stewart, a real pro, really sells a song.
really don't. Jack Oakey's widow, and it's wonderful to see you, Jack. And I used to see Jack in, fr in front of the ranch. I lived out at Chatsworth, had a ranch out there, and I used to go by yours in Northridge. We're still in Northridge. Are you? Yeah. And the house has now um, been dedicated um, an historical cultural monument to honor Jack. Oh, We've how, been there 50 years. How wonderful. And we have a book written about that. He house. used to stand outside and I'd wave. Yeah. That was the country. That was the country. Just come in, come is, in here. This is Wait, like it. This man is Clifford McCormick. McCormick. And Clifford McCormick saw me in at the Royal York. When was it? Oh, I don't, I don't know how Sixty long some <laughs> years ago, when my first son Ted was born, while I was on the stage, and I got a telegram when I went off stage, and I played you the drover at the ballroom of the Royal York, and you were there? Yes. Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> <clears throat> and I've forgotten the conductor was a great, he was knighted. Uh, old, oh, dear. Oh, dear. It'll come to me, but uh, it was a wonderful experience, and I was very young. I was only 21, as a matter of yeah. fact. Yeah. It's good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Nice to see you, It was Sir Ernest McMillan who was the conductor. May I have this? This is for you. Oh, thank you. That's the history of what you were doing. I used to look forward to seeing Jack and Jackie in front of me. Will you give me some hugs? Say, yeah. It's just a moment. Okay. All right. You were in Harvey. Yes, I was. I played I played Jimmy Stewart's niece. Ellie well, May or something. Jimmy Stewart's going to be honored by the Cinema Awards this year. I'm coming out for it. How good. At the Hilton the the Cinema I'm Awards. So he's, he's still a wonderful guy. Oh, I... Great, great isn't picture. this man the most talented of all of them? <laughs> out in Pasadena. Oh, yeah. That was over Gary's house. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, but are they going to make Gloria sing next year? <laughs> yeah. Next year. Next year. You promise? Yeah. Yeah. I have you on the Robert Cohen shape. Oh, uh, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, Would you like to have that tape? I'd love it. Love All it. All right. Yeah. You yeah, Put you on again, huh? It was the highlight of our afternoon oh, to hear you, you sing thank again. Thank you, dear. And as I told you, I went to Frank Sinatra's opening with Charlene and Jimmy Niederlander the night before last, and I want to tell you, he should have your voice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Bye, Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're wonderful. We, so are you. You're just, just great. And yes. your sister here was good to yeah, see you. Hi. Sister, my, you 
You were great. We love you. Everybody loves you. Thank you. Isn't Thank that you. wonderful? I got it on tape, too. Good. Can I get on this side of you? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's talking in this. <laughs> yeah, I have you on tape. I'll hold you oh, to you're kidding. Is this your tape? Yeah, this is mine. I you carry my camera man. Thank you. So were you. You don't look, even look need a mic. Too. No, you, you didn't cool. need that mic at all. <laughs> you do. It's me. And you look good. Thank you. Yeah. So you look wonderful. Both of you. You have this umbilical reef on it. What a lovely party. Uh, I'm going to close this with something I feel is very special and should be done.